What's an assault there, weapon? Yeah, Senator, uh, um, the bill uh, to ban assault what, weapons is what is your dozens definition of pages. Of an There's weapon. no way I could define an assault weapon. You don't have any. You're going to run an, this agency, and you don't have a definition of assault weapon. But I would be enforcing the definition that members yeah, of Congress. Yeah, but you're going to be passed. issuing rules and regulations. Just give me your definition. Um, I'll give you one definition that ATF. Give me your definition. Uses. One definition that ATF currently. Give me your definition. I can give you one definition. If you won't answer my question, I, how can I vote for you? I'm done, Mr. Chairman. I don't think I'm going to get an answer. You have called for an assault weapons ban. I have a simple question for you. What is an assault weapon? Senator, um, an assault weapon would be, in, in the context of the question you asked, what Congress uh, defines it as. So you're asking us to ban assault weapons. We have to write legislation. Can you tell me what is an assault weapon? How would you define it if you were the chair, the head of the ATF? How have you defined it over the last several years uh, as your role as a gun control advocate? Um, Senator, um, if I'm confirmed as ATF director, um, you know, my recollection is the only um, um, process but by which ATF is weighed in is that I know there's a demand letter three program which requires multiple reports, uh, multiple sale reports on the southwestern border. And ATF in that program has defined an assault rifle as any semi-automatic rifle capable of accepting a detachable magazine um, above the caliber of 22, which would include a 223, which is, you know, largely the so, AR-15 round. So you, you believe that every weapon that takes a detachable magazine that can take a 22 round or, or 556 in the military parlance should be defined as an assault weapon? Um, let me clarify. Uh, what I believe I just said is any semi-automatic rifle. Um, with, okay, any semi-automatic rifle. Um, what, what? That's the definition. A detachable magazine that takes a 556 or 22 round should be defined as an assault weapon. S Senator, um, you asked me um, if ATF um, had uh, used this term. And I was sharing with you my knowledge of a program in which ATF has defined this term. Um, and it is in the Demand Letter 3 program. And that rifle is a semi-automatic rifle capable of accepting a detachable magazine with a round greater than a 22 caliber. And in those cases, firearms dealers on the southwest border are required to make a multiple sale report to ATF. I, I'm, I'm amazed that that might be the definition of assault weapon, that would basically cover every single modern sporting rifle in America today. Um, let me put it this way. If, if I wanted to buy an assault weapon and I walked into Walmart or Cabela's or some other firearm dealers and I looked up on the wall where they were labeling their weapons, would there be a label on the wall for assault weapon? Um, I don't believe, um, Senator, and thank you for this question, that the firearms industry has used the term assault rifle in their marketing um, since there was a ban on it. Uh, it was after that that they changed uh, their use of the term assault rifle to the modern sporting rifle. Well, so I've been in Walmarts and I've been in Cabela's and I've seen that you can find sections for, for pistols or handguns or for shotguns or for rifles because those are actual kinds of firearms. I think our exchange here illustrates that there really is no such thing as an assault weapon. That is a term that was manufactured by liberal lawyers and pollsters in Washington to try to scare the American people into believing that the government should confiscate weapons that are wildly popular for millions of Americans to defend themselves and their families and their homes.